welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. And in this video I'm going to be setting up a flight plan, a rather elaborate flight plan with several custom waypoints. And basically an objective of this video is going to be to show you all how to do that using Google Maps if you don't already know how. So I'm going to first uh, in order uh, for this to work properly, the first thing you have to do actually is you have to select the departure and select an arrival um, airport. Um, there we go. And I'm going to take off from runway one from this one. And my, my arrival is going to be there. Runway two three. No, that doesn't sound right. Uh, let's go with three two. Okay, so that's my uh, arrival, my uh, departure, and my arrival. But I'm not going to fly straight there because that's boring. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, an alternate route. I'm going to fly along a highway and a couple of state routes that. My family and I, back when I was a child, would drive every single summer. Um, as kids, we would drive, uh, we would uh, ride in the car up to northern Michigan practically every single summer, and that was a heck of a lot of fun. So, there, we'll do that. And, but anyway, the way you do this is. I'm going to set this up to follow the highway. Now, this takes a considerable amount of time to do. Um, I'm going to probably put in about 40 or 50 waypoints here, and I'm going to describe to you what I'm doing as I'm doing it. This is Google Maps uh, right here, and this red circle here is where we are right now. It's where we're starting, and my first waypoint, I'm going to get to the highway as quickly as possible. I want to merge with the highway just south of this Ohio 122 here as it crosses Interstate 75. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to left click with the mouse so that this uh, gray waypoint here shows up. Now down here at the bottom of the screen you've got I-75, Middletown, Ohio, 45005, and then some GPS coordinates, some latitude and longitude coordinates. You left click those once and it zooms in on the waypoint and you get over, over here in this left hand column you get two representations of the location. One is uh, using north and west and uh, degrees, minutes, and seconds, and the other one is using a, um, a decimal notation and plus and minus with the northern hemisphere and the eastern hemisphere being represented by plus and the southern hemisphere and western hemispheres being represented by minus. So you can, you can, uh, you can highlight either one, it doesn't matter which one. If you highlight uh, the one that Flight Simulator doesn't uh, like so much, it will translate it into the one that it does like. I think the decimal notation is the one that it doesn't like so much. So I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to press Control C to copy it. Go back into Flight Simulator. I'm going to go over here to the search box and then press Control V to paste it in. Now, as you can see here, it pastes in the decimal notation and the plus minus notation, but it spits out degrees, minutes, and seconds, and north and west. So it translates it. You can you can highlight, copy, and paste either one, and it translates it into the one that it likes. So then what you do is you left click down here, the translated version, the north and west version, if you're in the states it would be north and west or if you're in Canada it would be north and west if you're in uh, Europe or most of Europe it would be north and east uh, if you're in Australia it would be south and east uh, and, and and so on if you're in South America uh, most of South America it would be it would be um, south and west 
So anyway, you left click that, and it zooms in on the custom waypoint. Now, in order to add the custom waypoint to the flight plan, you do have to click add. And here's where having a, a departure airport and a destination airport is so important. Because if you haven't filled in each one of these, if you haven't filled in both, it's not going to give you, at least in my experience, it's not going to give you the option to add the waypoint. So you want to have a departure, you want to have a destination. They can be the same airport. They don't have to be two different airports. They can be the same airport. Um, and as soon as you have that, you can click Add to any custom waypoint that you want to use, and it adds the custom waypoint. Now that's obviously not the only custom waypoint I am going to do. I'm going to do several of these uh, suckers here. Um, I'm going to go up 75, and I'm going to follow 75 rather closely. Uh, you might call it pedantically closely. So I'm going to do this again. I'm going to left click to get all that to disappear and then left click again to place the gray waypoint there. So there it places another one. And again we go just go through the process again. I-75 Franklin, Ohio 45005. Left click the coordinates they show up in the column over there. It zooms in on your waypoint that you chose. Um, and let's again click the decimal notation. Uh, highlight the decimal notation. Control C to copy it. Back into Flight Simulator. Let's get this old coordinate out of here by clicking X and then Control V to paste it. You can see it pastes the decimal notation translates it into degrees, minutes, and seconds. Click on the degrees, minutes, and seconds with the left click, and then again, add. And it's the same thing over and over and over again. And you just do that over and over and over again until you have all your waypoints. And you can follow anything you want. You can follow any road you want. You can follow any trail that you want, whether it's, uh, if you know the, um, the location of a historical trail. You can follow a historical trail. You can follow, like I said, any road you want. You can locate any house or office building you want. It's really handy. So just because we can, I am going to run you all through the sheer torture of uh, finishing, this, finishing this out here. And pretty much everywhere the road bends, I'm going to place a, a, another waypoint. Here I'm going to copy and paste the one that Flight Simulator likes, which is the north and west with the degrees, minutes, and seconds. And as you can see, uh, the one that you copied, or the yes, the one that you copied shows up there when you paste it. It translates it into the exact notation that it likes. And you go down here and you click it. And again, simple as, add. Now again, like I said, I'm going to do this every single time this road turns, takes a turn. Because I want this uh, flight plan that I'm doing to follow this road pretty damn closely. So this is going to go as fast as I know how to make it go here. Oh, now that was interesting. Hmm. Reset F12. Uh, yeah, I do want to proceed because that completely messed up. You see what that did there, guys? Um, this is one thing I don't know how to do, is that I don't know how to tell it to arrange the waypoints in a certain order. What the simulator sort of smart aleckly does is it takes your series of waypoints that you that you input in, and it just sort of throws them into a bowl, and it's sort of like it thinks that it's making it thinks that it's making dinner or something instead of doing exactly what you tell it to do. It thinks it's making 
basically what it's doing is it's taking your collection of ingredients, your collection of waypoints, and saying, this is what I believe to be the most efficient way to see each one of these waypoints, blah, blah, blah. Your, your own wishes be damned. So the way that it thinks it wants to do this is it wants to fly from this India 6-8 here up here to this uh, Mike Golf Yankee uh, airport south of Dayton named for the Wright Brothers, a general aviation field. It wants to fly up here first and then head down here to the, the, uh, the Interstate 75 interchange that I want it to have first. So that's not going to work for us. So what I think I'm going to do instead, I was going to run this entire uh, thing all the way up to Michigan with you guys, but I think what I'm going to do actually is let you go because this is going to be a bigger pain in the neck than I, than I thought. What I'm basically going to have to do is put in a waypoint save the flight plan after every single waypoint because that way I can make sure that okay it put that one in correctly it, 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 it inputted that one into the flight plan correctly it didn't do something smart aleck or stupid like this and, and, in, and in case it does do something like this just go back and load the most recent save and try it again um, but this I feel like is a flaw in the flight planner system. I want to be able to arrange my waypoints in the order that I want to fly them in. If there is a way to do that, put it in the comments, y'all, because I can't figure out how to do that. Um, I'm still str I'm struggling with this uh, sort of thing where, for me, it's basically just a collection of waypoints and I'm, I'm at the mercy of the flight simulator as far as the most efficient order that it feels like it wants to put them in. So that is how you do this, in case you didn't know how. Um, and then I have a question about exactly how to put the waypoints in the exact order that I want to put them in. But yes, absolutely, you can use Google Maps to, to um, put to place exact custom waypoints exactly where you want to put them. Uh, in another video that I'm going to do here soon, I'm going to show you how to do the same thing, how to accomplish the same thing with Wikipedia. If you have um, historical trails that you want to follow, maybe some waypoints that you knew existed at one time but don't exist anymore, like you wouldn't be able to find them on Google Maps anymore, but you know they existed at one time, you can run that kind of a flight plan if you want through and you can use wikipedia to do it and in my next video on this topic on this general topic i'm going to show you guys how to do that it's a similar process but it's it's different enough that it merits a different video so thank you guys for watching this if you have an answer to my question uh, about how to fix this problem that i'm having put it in the comments like the video subscribe to my channel and leave a comment if, um, if you're so inclined. Click the bell, and I will see you guys with, uh, with a flight up to Pelston, Michigan, as soon as I can get this sorted out and get it to look exactly the way I want it to look. We're going to fly to Pelston, Michigan in the Cessna 172 with the Garmin 1000 avionics system. So thank you very much for watching, and have a nice day, everybody. Bye.